Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader. Welcome to this video. Normally I don't have the camera on, so I thought I'd do something a little different. Uh, in today's session, I was trading the six tick NQ Renko. It was actually during the London Open or just after the London Open. So uh, traditionally, you'll see me usually trying to get away with trading a four tick Renko, which is a lower time frame, which also means a smaller stop loss. However, quite often in the London session leading up to the open of the New York session, the market will really pick up. So we're going to review the trades I took and some potential trades that just before uh, I started trading, that you may have taken and I'll be explaining the setups in detail so uh, as I state here on the screen you can apply these strategies to any market with your uh, trading stocks futures or Forex uh, my sessions are real uh, and unedited so <laughs> I'm not running to a script or anything like that and today's session is 102 so I do need to uh, get the disclaimer if I can just click on that hang on whoa I'm gonna to have to just uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause this because the camera's in the way that's better now I can pull up the disclaimer um, uh, that is the viewers in the way so traders there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose uh, very very important stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable that's one of the great benefits of most trading platforms today and that is that we can trade on the simulator until we build the confidence to start trading a live account and I'm going to briefly be discussing to rather than jump to a full contract why not start by trading a micro account so I'm going to briefly cover that uh, with you today just a very quick advertisement if you haven't already requested please uh, down below you can download my ebook the truth about day trading uh, make sure you hit subscribe subscribe to my video so you can be kept up to date so as I said this is session 102 so I bring out generally two or three uh, sessions each week better still come and join uh, myself in my live coaching room so I run coaching sessions every week and I also run a live trading room so trade is $197 so once off payment you get lifetime access to all of my indicators the members area there's uh, actually over 35 different powerpoints uh, there's hundreds of hours of recordings now the great news is though you don't need to study them all because if you're a brand new trader or if you've been struggling up to now we want you or I want you to focus on just a couple of setups trend following strategies which I'll mention uh, in today's video so you can get all of that for $197 and included in that 197 and perhaps I didn't mention that is eight of the live coaching sessions so every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I run two hour sessions where I'm teaching my members uh, how to trade live that is the setups uh, I'm explaining those step by step I'm explaining the psychology of trading I'm going into um, what else do we go into you name it money management and a whole lot more and we also have additional powerpoints and handouts in each session so you can get that uh, one month as a bonus so eight sessions included in the 197 after the one month if you decide to stick around it's only $97 a month uh, we're on the website it's 297 so you can get quite a savings but you need to drop me an email should you wish to continue after month one so let's now get stuck into today's lesson now if you've seen my videos before you've heard me talk a lot about this is you truly can become financially independent as a day trader however it's not easy you've got to put the time and effort in to do this now it's not rocket science either that's one of the best things it's really successful day trading is all about uh, uh, pattern recognition and making sure you follow your money management rules and you trade the right time frame and as an example I'll just bring this up why I think of it in today's session uh, I'm going to be on the 6-3 chart now generally I like to be able to trade the 4-2 which means a smaller stop loss and smaller account requirements but as time picks up you roll into New York you need to increase 
the time frame now once I get to about 16 ticks really above 12 that's too fast for me I prefer to sit it out and wait for a slower market and that's where I love the Globex market which opens at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern where you can be trading and depending on the market if you're trading the ES you're trading a two tick Renko uh, oil gold with most markets you're down around the two as you get into the New York hours you'll probably jump up to a four Nasdaq's different because of the volatility and I used to call it the nasty NAS I now call it the nifty NAS because it gives you a great trading range but you just need to really get to know the uh, personality now I did mention that all of these principles here that I'm talking when it comes down to chart um, sizes you can apply to any market so you can also apply these exact same setups to tick charts to time based charts to uh, range it doesn't really matter but what or which is the right time frame whichever is tradable in other words it's got to be slow enough to be tradable let's talk about realistic targets I've been day trading now for 28 years and I see so many traders come and go and it's usually because of disappointment or lack of discipline or money management issues traders set realistic goals if you're going to trade the after hours market say if you're still working a target of 100 to 200 to 300 dollars a day is extremely realistic okay unfortunately you have traders come in they want to trade say oil uh, one contract then I want to make seven or eight hundred dollars a day after hours you just don't have the volatility after hours but there's still some great trading opportunities now also by starting off and achieving a goal of, of, of uh, successful trading on the simulator then going to a micro account with only ten dollars a day then 15 then 20 what you're doing is building both confidence and competence now unfortunately some traders now I know are probably switching off they don't want to hear this and they wonder why they keep struggling as traders there's only one way to master the art of day trading and that's by doing it the right way the first time now five thousand dollars a week or a thousand dollars a day would be a game changer for most people globally that is the true potential on only $100 a day and wait till we get to the charts here in a few minutes 100 a day by 10 contracts uh, you full 10 full-size contracts and you're there you'll see today that uh, I was netting and that's my target I was netting $300 uh, a day per contract on the six tick now if I'm trading just to clarify this if you've seen my four tick videos uh, I'm after I look at the amount of capital requirement that I've got to trade so on a four tick I'm after 200 to 300 a day on a six tick I'm after 300 to 400 dollars a day I won't get into that too much now but the big thing is 10 lots by only 100 dollars a day this is a part of a full-time income trading part-time now where will you be in six months now this is where I want you to really focus on this so if you want to master the art of day trading and you've only got a small account size or if you've got a large account size and trading uh, or and you want to start trading or trading hasn't been good to you up till now let's draw a line in the sand and let's change this okay yes you've got to put some work in I can give you everything but the screen time and the discipline okay and perhaps we'll add a bit of patience to that but let's look at this for a moment here if we go down here and of course you can pause this recording and read the full slide but down here you can go for just $30 a day trading the micro which is extremely realistic if you're applying patience and discipline now a micro account is 10% of the big contract once you build your accounts up you can then roll over to uh, a full contract and I'll show you that on the spreadsheet in a moment and the reason I mentioned that is some traders will look at the capital requirements because to trade the six tick you really need six thousand dollars why do you need six thousand dollars because we never ever risk any more than two percent so we could have a risk of up to one hundred and twenty dollars so um, and this is something where most traders want to get in there and hang on and hope they'll make it but if you break the money management rules it will drain your account but what that does 
is ruins your self-confidence and it does all sorts of other things more of that soon and by the way I want to try to keep this to 30 35 minutes so what you'll see on my charts here in a moment that yes I do use indicators and if you're a pure price action trader I know that we can remove a number of these keep maybe the um, maybe my MACD and the uh, EMAs for trend direction however what indicators will do is that they're a great confirmation tool and so it just um, it just strengthens my resolve on taking certain trades so in today's session we're going to be looking at trade five trades I took um, a couple of them I'm going to explain to you one of them was a loss and I jumped in another one straight after which actually was what I call an impulse trade uh, so it's still a great day however what we've got to do with our day trading is apply what I call black box thinking we've got to go back at the end of each day and review our trades remember winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do but when we look at our trades we've got to apply this what can I learn from this so I won't do it again now I wish it was that easy that is uh, there are things that I learned but I still will do but I'm getting better and better all the time it's why I look at it but it's very very important black box thinking we look at it what can we learn from this and once again losing traders won't do this so um, when we get to the charts I've actually removed all the lines in the copy but you'll see the trade entries because I want to explain in a moment directly on the charts what we're looking at so the end result here was five trades for four wins one loss all within 15 minutes of uh, trading and there were some great trade opportunities which I'll show you just before and after this particular session but let me just quickly give you an overview of how you can achieve the sort of targets I'm talking about starting with only $600 now you could actually start with as little as $400 if you wanted to trade the four tick uh, on this is on the NQ uh, once again you can do the same with the micro OES with the Russell with the Russell you can get away with $250 starting off and and the Dow why because we have um, smaller time frames you don't have the massive volatility that you have uh, on the NQ but as we're about to see here uh, now in this particular case I think I might have a typo there but um, it should be 30 yes it is so there's a little typo here on this one uh, so I've taken this off a, another slide here but based upon $30 net within uh, where are we here within 12 weeks here on 30 a day we've got six thousand nine hundred dollars in our account so how this table works and by the way if you want this spreadsheet I'm using here go to the description link below and you can download this and I've also got a little training video that's free by the way little training video on how to actually do this and use this spreadsheet correctly so if you start off with six hundred dollars and you're targeting $30 a day you start trading a second contract once you double your money so once you've gone to $1,200 we can start trading two contracts when we get to $1,800 we start trading three the end result here is by week 12 by nesting $30 a day and I'll show you how to do that in a moment uh, you've got the potential and I have to say legally the potential of well just on this alone earning 1400 a week part-time uh, and your account size is now nearly seven thousand dollars all within 12 weeks now 1200 a week part-time for many is also a fantastic income now once we get to that level we're now ready to roll over and start trading the big contract so instead of trading micros we'll then start trading a big contract where the commissions are cheaper by the way the equivalent is I pay approximately I think it's four dollars twenty four dollars eighteen on the micro to trade the micro sorry to trade the standard NQ we're on a micro I'm paying around a dollar twenty two so if you're trading ten micro contracts that's the equivalent of twelve dollars twenty compared to four dollars odd and so that can actually as a scalper and day trader that can have a big effect so uh, certainly in the early days you want to trade the micros uh, or 
if maybe the market picks up with volatility and your account size won't support so trade in a higher time frame you drop down to the micros it's a real happy medium now what this really comes down to by netting $300 a day within 11 weeks we're trading eight lots and we've got the potential of over $10,000 a week income now it's great to have a compelling future that's absolutely critical to, to your success but what you then got to have is is the how how do we actually do it now when we go to the charts in a moment and I'll explain this on the charts here but if we're going for say three seven step trades a day and I'll explain that on the charts it's easier or four six step trades a day that's our three hundred dollars and if you're following just trend following that is using an entry chart as you'll see I use and an anchor chart okay you follow the tide which is your higher time frame it is so much easier to do this so what I'm looking for on average is really the best of the best and typically you know look I might have to execute six trades uh, because you're going to have losses naturally in fact let me just quickly show you this little tool that I have for members just on this because what I say to members is you really want to um, where are we here just with this one just here most traders don't have a trading plan I don't not interested and they're just flying by the seats of their pants my job as your coach is also to help you put together a trading plan a realistic trading plan with the proper money management rules yes it might take you six months to 12 months to get there for financial freedom but you've done it the right way so just here with this profit calculator and I'll just move it over to the side here a little uh, like if we're, you're looking at oil in this particular case and so this is just from a couple of days ago with some members if we uh, say you're working on a 75% win win loss ratio we're after $200 a day and say if you average only seven your stop loss is eight ticks only average seven you need to execute seven trades a day now all of a sudden if it's a one-to-one -one basis it's six trades a day now as a scalper and day trader I'm really going for three to one returns that is if I'm risking a hundred I'm not going for 300 I want to get in get out get paid I'm a scalper um, I feel a lot more comfortable doing that it suits my personality so this is where though maybe you want to go for the larger moves and so we can do that by using higher time frames or staying with the trade longer but this suits my personality so if we now get back down to here this is what we need to be executing so let's now go to the charts I'm just going to see if I got the little no I'll talk about uh, I'm just seeing if I've got is that it there yes it is okay so when this is what I'm really focused on when I get to the charts and thanks now to most uh, trading platforms uh, these plot automatically so here where are my pivot levels now I've now also added Camarilla pivots what I call cam pivots to my trading uh, for 28 years I've been hearing all about cam pivots and they were invented by a bond trader back in the 80s and really if, look if you put enough indicators on a chart you're going to bounce off something or enough lines however I've found them very powerful we may even uh, we'll see what happens when we get to the charts I can't remember we'll see but one thing I've now added so I use standard floor pivots and cam pivots I want to know where my prior days open high low and close levels where the 89 and 200 EMAs are on not only my entry but on my anchor chart this is priceless as you're going to see intraday swings high and low and the current days high and low so let's look at this let me close that one down so what I'm going to do here traders for a few minutes I'll leave up uh, my anchor chart on the right so I actually work with a, 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 an anchor chart sorry an entry chart anchor chart one and an anchor chart two so because I've got multiple screens it makes it a lot easier however um, uh, and if you're wondering how many screens would be perfect well really three 
but two you can get away with even one you can get away with and have it like this but I prefer to have my entry chart fully expanded like this and then straight in my screen above uh, two-thirds of it with my anchor chart one and one-third with my anchor chart two remember I'm surfing the waves I want to see where the higher time frame is going so just here we're about to see in a moment the trades that I, I took and what I might even do just turn the camera off for a moment and let's just focus uh, on this because some of these may pop up over here so first of all just to give you an idea why higher time frames are critical this is what you call a 200 EMA overshoot and up here this is current days open and yesterday's close note the bounce but look over on my anchor chart one I'm also bouncing off one of our major EMAs that makes this what we call a loaded trade we then came down uh, we then bounced for members watching this you've got a t10 there you've got a t10 there oh you've even got one there and you've got one here now a t10 trade is, is a very high probability reversal strategy okay so you're applying that uh, to your reversals now what I want you to notice here here is a cam pivot Camarilla pivot and this is an s1 we come down and we get a clear bounce over here by the way this is the low of day but once you understand these patterns and patterns that repeat day in day out it makes trading so much easier now as we're popping up just here so now we've um, uh, had a bounce you've got what we call a t10 and just over here do we get a setup and now we've got a little bounce here okay we've got a double top and just there I get another entry now this is called a long-term stochastic okay and up we go now note up here this is a standard pivot so you'll be able to tell the difference a hey, one of my standard floor pivots you'll see their dots with a cam pivot Camarilla pivots their dashes okay so if you're wondering what am I bouncing off at the time that's what that is now as we hit a pivot and let me now expand this okay so what I'm looking at is what's also happening on my anchor chart but let's focus on the entry a very very large percentage of the time when we come up and we come up there and we hit the pivot a very large percentage of time we're going to get what we call a pivot bounce where we bounce off the pivot okay so whether it be a cam pivot uh, whether it be a standard pivot and just here now I know yes it is I thought so uh, so just here I actually had a trade entry and it's called a 2d that is because I had divergences on my higher time frames so I've even got a wee bit of divergence just there okay a little hard to tell with this but we had it on our anchor charts okay so then I entered this trade just here and I'm after my what I call seven steps now if I missed that entry just here I had another one just there and I had another one just here now little challenge with these ones is that as I'm selling directly at support now they did pop through but I was getting a wee bit uh, worried about those trades at that time so now I'm out of the trade now this is where a lot of traders will ask me oh um, don't you wish you trailed so you could pick up these big big winners you see traders each one of these and I should just point this out I call these steps so these Renko candles uh, the, the great thing about Renko they smooth out price action and once you get to know and trust them there's no going back you'll love them so a six tick Renko means from the load of a high that is six ticks which is $30 okay now each one of these steps I call them steps is $15 then okay so you're basically going down in steps so to go and you instead of getting uh, up here from down to there which is $110 22 ticks I was after I could probably go and double that again 
and here but I prefer to get out and then just look for another entry okay now as we come down what have I got just here I've got a cam pivot again what do I expect usually to happen I expect a bounce now here in this case we had a wee bit of a bounce and then we continued straight through now just here I then had what we call a t3 setup a t3 setup traders is a reversion to the mean or a mean reversion trade when we are a certain distance away from our 34 EMA and it kicks butt and the best thing is you don't need divergence on your on your charts and by the way this is what I call a zero lag MACD so here I had a t3 uh, and I was also bouncing off the 200 EMA on my anchor chart too so this all of a sudden became what I call a loaded trade slight overshoot bouncing on a higher time frame and away I go and I was filled and out there at the 200 now as I'm coming up guess what I'm thinking with any trade we say to ourselves do I have blue skies ahead and what exactly do I mean by that what's in front of the trade I'm always looking for my support resistance areas now a lot of these areas are zones by the way okay you're not going to bounce usually right or you do bounce at times right on the tick but overall I'm looking for an area okay went through by a few ticks you bounce little bounce now we're we're flying through and and by the way that was as I mentioned a 200 B on a higher time frame as I'm now coming back up to the uh, open and close guess what I'm now expecting and I remember what happened early today with this trade uh, I put in a, uh, a stop limit order now a stop limit order allows me to specify the price I'm willing to pay but I'm not it's not guaranteed to be executed so in other words I can be filled at that at, at the price I select or better but no worse and what actually happened was I hit there put my order in to short five contracts and it just went through without me okay and I wasn't filled and this is one of the problems you can have with stop limit orders now I can go with a limit order which turns into a market order but you'll quite often find you're going to get one sometimes two ticks slip so probably five six percent of the time that will happen where I don't get filled it can be frustrating like that was a beautiful uh, seven step trade oh and one thing I didn't mention I target usually seven steps one two three four five six seven uh, my break even is five and I target seven why because that works for me I've just found over the years that's just a, a really great target okay I missed that one I then jumped in and this was the clanger of the day I then immediately missed out on that one and I shorted right here now traders we're very very cautious when we sell straight into pivots so what I had here was a cam pivot straight below I sold and I was immediately stopped out of that and I was really peeved because I press this home to members day in day out um, uh, if you're going to sell into a pivot get to break even when you can but make sure you've got room to the pivot otherwise quite often you just bounce straight off it and so that's what happened uh, here with this one so I was really peeved uh, about this one now what about this one then I was buying under the pivot yes but I had major reasons for doing that that basically is what we call an overshoot a pivot overshoot I was bouncing off a major EMA on a higher time frame and it was a t3 so that made that a definite trade so I got stopped and then straight after that I jumped in on this trade this is all within seconds by the way okay and with this trade yes it worked out mighty fine however however traders uh, I should have not been in that trade until down here or until after this formation here for members watching this here you can see we had a little bit the farm 
set up there so I entered way up here it should have been down here and I was a bit peeved with that because I should not have taken that but anyway it worked out mighty fine and then as I came back down I hit the pivot look at that there another little pivot bounce and once again I teach you how to trade pivots and down here then I had right there it wasn't quite a t3 but it was a t12 on the anchor chart to again a bounce off for 200 and I had divergence on the anchor chart one okay so that was just there let me just see so I had lower low on price I had a high high now this is very sensitive so like see that there there to there okay okay so that was that one just there so the MACD here that I use is very very sensitive okay and we're in there and thank you very and for members watching yes it turned into a t10 just there so if you miss that you then had a t10 and away the market went from there now just to point this out uh, if I had this trade here I would have been st uh, one two uh, no I would have been out of break even let me just um, uh, mention this this is one of these trades where you're bouncing off support remember I mentioned about pivots a moment ago this is your classic case you enter the trade you'll be in about here by the way as soon as you hit the pivot or nearly hit the pivot it's good it's and I should, and I don't want to get into front running now so usually it's two ticks under we want to lift our stop up and go to break even now if I was up five steps I automatically on my dome go to break even but here we we're only up um, two and a half three steps so where my stop is one tick below here as soon as you hit there you bring your stop straight up why because of this that was the issue where I was peeved with that trade I took there where I was really just I didn't even have room to get to uh, wouldn't have even barely had room to get to break even and it bounced now what have we got here for members watching there is your classic 3b just there okay we then rally up and what have we got just here just there you got a high high on price you got a lower high and there is another t10 just there okay a really good t10 now with this trade was this a double divergence well let's have a look and yes it was okay sorry got to clap my hands see how we missed the uh, the cam pivot by a couple of ticks what we've got here I call these 2ds and 2ds means two divergences okay so you had divergence on your higher time frame you had it on your lower time frame now what I've discovered um, and just it's really just through experiences and I've removed it here it's a little trade secret Maybe members get to know but the settings for all the different types of charts you're going to be using because what you end up getting is multiple EMA bounces together which loads your trade imagine when you've got multiple entries on three different time frames all saying take me take me on three time frames and when you've got multiple divergence trades as well that's what we call a loaded trade so traders it was a uh, a great session uh, two errors I made that still worked a one didn't it was a loss uh, well they're actually and it wasn't my fault we didn't get filled there as I said um, uh, that just went straight through my order and maybe that's where it clouded my judgment because this is all over um, in about 40 seconds by the way and that's that trade I then got stopped so traders there's a, a fantastic opportunity the markets offer you as a trader as long as you put the you've got to put the work in and that's probably the most frustrating thing I have with traders is they're just not willing to do that you know you, you, you can't be merely interested in day trading you've got to be committed now I'm not talking about putting eight hours a day into this but you can be trading just two hours a day that's all you need now yes I do have to say my results um, are probably not typical but I'm also committed if you're a committed traders uh, a committed trader okay I believe you can expect the same sort of results I can, because traders it's not rocket science everything I do 
here they're all patterns every single setup is a pattern okay there's nothing that I do is based upon or you know is that good I'm looking at either EMA bounces or I'm looking at pivot bounces I'm looking at angulation but they're all patterns so traders why don't you come and join me $197 I'll train I'll train you uh, over a month if you decide to continue after that it's only $97 a month cancel any time uh, and when you sign up you'll not actually sign up to the ongoing class uh, and as I said it's literally a gold mine of resources so traders it's time for me to wrap this up hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you uh, hopefully in class cheers everyone